19. We have wanted to build residences for people that they can put their retirement homes on so that when they stop working, they can come there to retire. That was blocked. It was blocked. No, we don't want another trailer park. We weren't building a trailer park. We don't want another subdivision. It wasn't like that. We were building homes so that people could have their own, so that when their hard labors is over with, they have somewhere to go to retire. That's what we were doing. For those that don't know, who got the raw picture. Because see, when, when you're working and you have power and you have the media on your, on your side, there's a lot that can do, that, that can be done because they can make or break you. And when you're working collectively with just a few people and we're gonna tear them down because you're, Mr. Peacher, you're gonna continue to put out negative articles about them. And then it's gonna jump from you to Mr. Osinski and you can put negative articles out about them. I don't want nothing positive out about what they're doing. You understand what I'm saying? They came up there in the year 1990 Eight, I think it was, we had over 30,000 people that came to visit us. And you better believe me, the businesses in town, they were being prepared. They looked forward for our um, annual events because it was lucrative for them very much. And see, the sad part about it, I guess, <laughs> is that some of the palms that I guess felt that should have been greased <laughs> did not get a part of that. It was the young business owners. And they looked forward to it. Because people came, and they gave, and I'm sure they were, were productive that year, or those times of the year when people came around. They were prepared. They would come, and they would say, what do y'all need for us to, to help you do? These were just the locals, the ones that were was not in the, um, you know, the little circle of people that were so willing to destroy. Um, there is no Tamaray. We not only built a pyramid with a labyrinth for people to walk around. But we also had built little monuments for people to come and sit and just study. We had a store where people could come and get books to read about us, to read about Egypt. Um, not only just Egypt and, and Christianity. They can read, they can basically, they can get anything about any aspect of history there. You know, it only enhanced their knowledge. It wasn't um, anything to, you know, brainwash anybody. To enhance your knowledge about you and about people, about the world, about the things, about the events that were happening at the time, and about the events that are expected to happen, so that you can prepare yourself mentally, physically, spiritually, you know, the world is changing, and there's a lot of things that are going on, and people don't have the answers to what's going on. But there was somebody available that can give you answers to say, this is what's happening in the world right now, and this is why it's happening, you know? But they don't want certain people to know information. You're supposed to be ignorant to what's going on. So when someone sticks up like a sore thumb, because they have the knowledge and the understanding and could explain it to you so that you say, oh, okay, now I can understand. Now I can deal with it. Now I know how to prepare myself. You're supposed to remain ignorant. You're not supposed to know. Anybody that dares to stand up to fight for what's theirs, they're knocked down, you know, and it's not right and you see the level of force that people will actually go to to destroy something productive if they're not a part of it, or if they fear it, or if they don't understand it, or if they feel they're, they're threatened by it in any form or fashion, and it doesn't make it right. But May 8th, I'll always remember, that's the first time ever that I had to come face to face with a gun right in my face or to see a gun at a child's head who's innocent that don't know anything. You read about Waco, you read about, you know, certain things that happens to different groups and you never 
think that you would be in that situation until it happens. And that's, that, that, that's my feeling. That's my recollection of eight, May 8th. Children running around screaming, people afraid, not knowing. One thing that we did, <laughs> we did come together on is that, well, you know what, y'all? If we're going to die today, we're going to be together, okay? And all of us, all of us will die together, you know? But that was the fear. Are we going to make it through the night? A lot of them <laughs> soldiers marched around with, um, with their guns. Some of them knowing what they're there from when they realized it wasn't as bad. It was like some of them, you know, um, 